welcome to my channel. Uh, this past summer I installed a Brian Tooley racing cam. It's a stage one cam for the LS1. So uh, in this video here, I'm going to show some scans from HP tuners. One's going to be of the before and the next will be of the after the cam install. And uh, you can see the difference in airflow. I'm going to highlight the, the airflow in grams per second and uh, the injector duty cycle. So if you find anything interesting in this video, uh, please subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. There's going to be a lot of videos in the future of modifications to this car. We're going to see how fast we can get it to go. Okay, this here's the first scan. The car is pretty well stocked except for uh, cold air intake. So this was just a first gear pull. I just went through the first gear just to get some numbers. And uh, it's been slowed down so it's, it's easier to read. Okay, so the stock run. Uh, we got 261 grams per second and max uh, injector duty cycle was 79.2 percent okay this next run was uh, taken after the cam and the long tube headers were installed now if I, I'm new to tuning so the car runs real good the way the way that I've got it tuned but if you happen to be uh, somebody who's experienced and you happen to stumble across this video if you happen to see anything that you think needs attention just uh leave, leave a comment okay so after the cam and the headers the max airflow is 326 grams per second and max uh injector duty cycle was 93 percent Okay, so I'm going to throw one more run in here. This one here was taken uh, after I added dual exhaust, uh, speed engineering dual exhaust system. And uh, anyway, towards the end of this one, there, there's a bit of a problem. So on this last run, we got 331 grams per second. And the injectors maxed, maxed out at 97.8. Uh, one of the things, too, in this run, I, I upped the shift points to 6,400. And uh, this caused a bit of a problem. Okay, so here's the problem. Just before it shifted, uh, the injector duty cycle started to drop. And it the car went way lean. So... Uh, the car definitely needs a bigger injector, which is not surprising, but it may also need a fuel pump because I don't think it's quite able to keep up, especially when, once you go over 6,000 RPM. It seems to me, and I could be wrong, uh, RPM plays as big or bigger role in uh, inju injector duty cycle as as power does. But I'm not, like I say, I'm new to HP tuners, I'm new to tuning, but I uh, definitely need new injectors and probably a fuel pump. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. I know the video probably a little boring, but uh, it's really something, anyone who's going to do a lot of modifications to a vehicle, it's, it's pretty good to learn how to tune yourself. You can save a lot of money and... I, I don't know. I, I just like to learn these things. I like to do things myself. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'd sure appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. Uh, I don't have a lot on my channel right now, but I definitely will have some more videos up this summer when I get the car back out of storage. Anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Catch you later.